Good day, my name is Franco Ferrar and I'm here today to demonstrate how to make a double flare. To make a double flare, you need a double flaring tool kit, which consists of a tube cutter, double flaring bar, a yoke, a cone, the adapters, 3 16 brake line, and a vise. Brake line comes in a 25 foot roll. So you'll need to unravel a piece of the brake line. Now, for this purpose, today we're just learning how to make brake lines, so we're gonna cut two inches off. And to do that, you insert the tube between the two rollers against the cutting wheel, and you tighten the tube cutter as you cut until the tube is into your little piece. After placing the double flaring bar into the vise, you now want to insert your tube into the proper hole. You'll notice there are numbers along the top that range from quarter to three sixteenths. Three eight. So we're going to place the three sixteenths brake line into the corresponding hole and tighten the wing that's down securely. The next step can be dangerous so you have to be careful. Um, this, this part here is used for reaming the hole. You'll notice that it's loose. It's very easy for students to get their fingers pinched. So make sure that you find a tube cutter that is that locks into place. Uh, some manufacturers make tube cutters that are that have a better design. This end fits into the hole and what we want to do is we want to remove the inside chamfer on that and you do that by pressing and rotating. Now some of these tube cutters come with a little file but what I find is, is that it wears out over time so I just like to use a regular file and I do that by just simply filing the top so all the burrs are gone. Because we are making a 3 16 brake line, you find the black adapter that says 3 16 You'll notice on the side that there is a little step here. That step corresponds with the top of the tube. So to lower the tube down, you loosen the wing nuts and lower the tube to the top of the adapter then tighten the wing nuts. The next step is to produce what we call a single flare. To do that, you take your adapter, you turn it into the tube, then you take your yoke and you place it over top of the flaring bar and you turn the cone down. It's important that you put even pressure as you are tightening the adapter down and you want to tighten until the adapter hits the flaring bar. Then you stop and loosen. The first step is a single flare. The next step is to produce a double flare. You do that by placing the cone into the tube till it stops and what I find works best if you turn this about half to three quarters of a turn and then stop and then release. The last step is to loosen the wing nuts and remove your tube and there you have it, a double flare.